Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to LitCode. Today we are going to learn few of the concepts in Chrome.Runtime API. For example, let's say that when user is going to install the extension, we want to show them how to use maybe a tutorial video or a YouTube link. And if user is going to uninstall, probably we can send a link to take the survey so that we can enhance our product and of course feedbacks are very important to improve the product feature wise or the ex or the expansion of the product and so many things right and if the user is going to get any update from our side we also wanted to show them the change logs and then of course we have to send another link where they can see the change log so we are going to achieve all the three scenarios using the chrome dot runtime so let's get into the coding part so already I have declared three string here, which is going to be our install URL, update URL, and the uninstall URL. Now let us first deal the uninstall. So here it's going to be very easy. Chrome dot runtime dot set uninstall URL. We have this, and within this we have to pass two arguments. So one is going to be of string data type, and another one is going to be callback function. So here I can just pass the uninstall URL this particular variable, and then I can just uh, give this callback. It's not going to return us anything, so we no need to handle this. Uh, maybe you can, if there is some error, probably you can use this, but this is going to be very simple, so I'm just going to leave as it is. Nothing much is going to bother us here. And that's it. We are going to use this Chrome dot runtime on install. And we are going to add a listener to this. And this is going to give us a callback where it's going to retrieve, uh, give us the details like what is happening, installed or the update and it should be a callback so of course we have to close this and within this we will write a function now so here i can say like let install a reason maybe something like that and it's going to get a parameter so we'll name this as detail and this guy within this we'll write something but before that just let us call this here and we'll pass the detail value right so Chrome dot runtime on installed, we are adding a listener to this and which is going to give us a callback functions. That's going to be our details. And this detail we are passing to this particular function. Now within this, we'll just log this as of now so that we can understand what it's, what it's going to give us. So I'm just going to open up my browser here. And here I'll say Chrome colon slash slash extension. And we'll install the application first. So this is the path. So if I click on the select folder, and here we can see nothing happened because of course we had just called the URL, but we didn't ask to open anything. But somehow I need to check the logs so I can click on this background page. And here you can see that within this we got some object and the reason is installed. And if I just, just close this and if I going to click on refresh, that means it's getting updated. Now if I click on the background page, here you can see that reason is update and also it's giving us the previous version 1.1 so we didn't change the version so that's going to be uh, remain same so let's not worry about the version we are going to focus on this reason and the install or the update right so if i go back to my code so we know what this detail is going to give us so using that i can write a if condition so if detail dot reason not runtime reason dot not dot so we have to check the condition so if, if it's going to be installed and then we'll do something and else if if it's going to be detail dot reason equals equals update then we'll do something now you might think that Kaushik, why we have to write if and then else if we can simply write if and else yeah that's possible but here uh, if you see the documentation it's going to give us four parameters actually four data actually so if i can find the documentation here you can see that it's going to give us install update then chrome update and then another one so that's the reason we are using the if else if and within this uh, we can just uh, open a new tab and we can pass this URL. So to open a new tab, we can use this Chrome dot tabs dot create and within the create we have to pass the object and within the object we have this optional parameter as URL and here we'll say this installed URL. So that's our this particular URL which is going to open the YouTube 
and similarly i can just copy and within this i can say like update url right so that's it now let us do the testing so if i go back here and if i'm going to click on this pack extension and if i'm going to select this folder so here you can see that the as soon as we do the installation it's going to open up this youtube page where the any demo video we can show like that right so you got the idea right now let's assume that user is going to do the update so i'm just going to click on this refresh that means the extension is getting update here so if as soon as i do here you can see that it opens to our github page and here we can show the change log now also let's quickly check the uninstall so if i click on this remove and it's going to bring up this product page where we can get some of the survey from the user that's it right so it's going to be very pretty much easy stay very straight from forward so just quickly recap so we have this chrome dot run type set uninstall url where we have to pass the string and the string should hold the uh, any link that we want to open and then we are going to use this chrome dot runtime on install and we have to add a listeners and this is going to give us this detail object and which is going to give us this reason and we know that it's going to give us either install or update based on that we are just going to open the url that uh, particular url and to open that we are using this chrome dot tabs dot create and we have to pass this url and the, our url that's it right so in the next video we will also see how to give the notifications to the user for example when we are going to do install or uninstall here you can sometimes you might see this particular area uh, a pop-up comes from the chrome right so that is chrome notification so we'll see in the next video how to handle this thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon